neck pieces, hair pieces, Reese's pieces, eye pieces, nose pieces, Reese's pieces, Time pieces, center pieces, mantle pieces, Reese's pieces, chess pieces, gold pieces, silver pieces, Reese's pieces. The famous flavor of Reese's peanut butter in a fun candy shell. You'll love them to pieces. Some folks don't believe the super fruitiness of bonkers fruit candy. They learn soon enough. <laughs> Some folks think bonkers is gum. They know it's candy now. With this extra fruity inside, Bonkers is so super fruity. Whoops! Bonkers. Bonks you out. Some candy! Oh. Artificially flavored. Ah, Gobbledygook. What's its face? of vanilla. Delectable as only Peter Paul coconut can be. Then add chocolate. Deep, dark chocolate. The finest kinds of chocolate. Delightfully blended for that famous coconut. Together, the perfect taste treat of coconut and chocolate. Yours to enjoy in every luscious double bar. Peter Paul Chocolate Coconut Mounds. Indescribably delicious. And be sure to treat your family to Mounds in the perfect serving size. Everyone will love luscious Mounds miniatures from Peter Paul. I am a mouse. <laughs> and my job is to eat things. One really fun thing I get to eat is Twizzlers candy. It makes me <laughs> happy. They're so chewy. And their fruity flavor mm -hmm. is so juicy. So if you have a mouth, and I know you do, may I personally recommend Twizzlers! <laughs> Starburst fruit chews, a burst of refreshing fruit flavor for you. Tastes like mouth-watering orange, lip-smacking light. Luscious strawberry and tangy lemon. You get a burst the very first time. You bite into a star burst. It's true, a burst of refreshing fruit flavor for you. Naturally and artificially flavored. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Almond Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. Almond Joy's got real milk chocolate. Coconut and munchy nuts, too. Mounds got deep dark chocolate and chewy coconut. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Peter Paul Almond Joy's got nuts. Peter Paul Mounds don't. Because sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. It's a better Butterfinger, it's a crispier, crunchier Butterfinger bar. They made Butterfinger better, so you simply cannot get a peanut buttery or tasting Butterfinger. Better, a crispier, middle finger. For the best taste yet, make the Butterfinger guarantee a freshness. Better, Butterfinger's better, better get a Butterfinger, get a better Butterfinger. Now, the fish comes. It's the truth. Your principal. Can't smile. 
Hershey's Fifth Avenue. It'll make you go. Stretch it out. Caramello. Stretch it out. Mr. Cow. Yes? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know. I always end up biting. Ask Mr. Fox, for he's much cleverer than I. Mr. Fox, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Why don't you ask Mr. Turtle, for he's been around a lot longer than I. Me? <laughs> I bite. Mr. Turtle. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl, for he is the wisest of us all. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a smart owl. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> the world may never know. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're into all this retro goodness, be sure to subscribe. There's a new nostalgia overload each week.